This is Broadcast Beat Magazine with Ryan Salazar. Ryan Salazar here from Broadcast Beat Magazine. We have a special guest from the IBC show in Amsterdam, right on the show floor, Marco Stahl. How you doing, sir? Hey, Ryan, I'm good. How you doing? Doing excellent. So tell us about Flavorsys and what you guys do and how you got started. We got started in 2011 with our product called Strawberry, which is a production app management system. So, you know, most people know what a media asset management does, but just a few people know what a PAM does, a production asset management. So I want to give you a little bit of explanation about this, if you're cool with that. Sure. Yeah, all right, I go ahead. So when we talk to customers, we always say, all right, listen, when you have a media asset management system, you have a storage, you have editors working on a storage, and what a mom does, it really just organizes uh, the mess. It lets you label the mess in a way that you can add metadata and you can search, but it's not really an approach that you know really helps you to prevent chaos in the first in the first step. So what Strawberry does, it's a project sharing software that does not only allow Avid and Adobe and Final Cut editors to collaborate on the same content at the same time, but it also organizes the storage in the background automatically. So some of our customers have it set up in a way that editors don't even see the actual editing storage, but just like a virtualized file system that we built for this specific computer so that they can work in a very streamlined fashion on only one specific folder on their computer. And we, Strawberry, we, Strawberry, of course, have then the storage organized in the background automatically. But that's not all. We also have great metadata capability in Strawberry. So first of all, we create proxy files, of course, from on the online, for all the online media assets that get ingested. We have a user and team management functionality where you can decide, right, these guys should have access to these assets, these guys shouldn't have access to these projects. So it's a very granulated way of making decisions about who should see what. And then also we have, since we are all web-based, the whole software is basically a website we can run on Windows, on Mac, on Linux, but also a web browser. If you're, if you're on with the iPhone and you want to check on your assets, hey, what's my editor doing in that room next door? You know, you can simply watch on your iPad and you'll see this work in progress. So there's a lot of cool stuff that we're doing. And again, compared to a mem, we are not just labeling the mess. We are pre-organizing everything so that, you know, people have a streamlined way of accessing their media content on the storage. Well, that's pretty exciting. And, and you guys uh, you guys are a fairly young company, Thanks. right? Yes, we are. We we started the business in 2011, and uh, since then Hitachi uh, has, and Skylogic have been great partners to us. Um, the actual software was developed on a running TV station in Germany back in 2008, 2009, and it was very different than you know compared to these days. And what we wanted back then was a tool that a simple tool where editors have the capability to share media content in a very you know intuitive kind of way, independent from the storage that you know the customer was using. So we came up with a development of the software and turned out to be a product category. You know, even we couldn't say what it was back then, you know, until like two years ago, you know, it was like, of course we have a production asset management system, you know. Before this we always said, yeah, there's project sharing and there's project management. But now we define ourselves as a PAM and yeah, it's a great tool. That's excellent, man. And, and you know, asset management and project management, production management in general is a huge thing. And, yes, uh, it is, it is. You know, here at Broadcast so, Beat, we're really big on that, you know, even down to the, you know, job numbers and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the thing. Like people cannot keep up with their asset content anymore. They see the mem the mem systems are reaching certain limits. You know, in terms of how many assets you can uh, you can organize. And the, you know, the obstacle of mems always is you have to provide metadata for everything in order to find everything back later. A pem is very different because in a pem it's all organized in projects. So it's in a more you know editor driven approach. It's more of the editor's mindset that we address. And then we are um, inheriting the project metadata and the project capabilities down to the asset level. So even if you don't know the asset name or anything about the asset metadata, you can still find the asset based on the project name or, you know, on the producer name or the customer name. So there's a lot of, lot of, you know, capabilities that you have in, search of, uh, in terms of organizing and searching. We have some new stuff to show you um, at the IBC. So first of all, we have Predator, which is a full HTML5 browser-based rough cut editing tool that you can use from anywhere in the world, basically. It utilizes the strawberry proxy files to allow you to create an edit in a web browser, and then without exporting any XML, without importing anything, the editor in the edit room can simply say, I want to import this predator sequence via our Adobe panel. And then boom, we're linking the online media files into the project and we're creating the premiere sequence that can you know, do the fine tuning then on the actual editing suite. 
Second of all, Strawberry is now capable of doing native Avid bin locking, meaning multiple, multiple Avid editors can open the same Strawberry managed Avid project at the same time to have native bin locking, you know, making Avid think actually that's working on an ISO storage. So a lot of cool stuff happening here. Again, that was Marco Stahl with Flavorsys. Thanks for spending your time with us at the IBC show. And lastly, if you could give us your website so our readers and viewers can, uh, can go ahead and, and check you out. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate it. Our website is www.flavorsys.com. It's F-L-A-V-O-U-R-S-Y-S.com. So it's the, it's the English, British English writing of flavor. Flavorsys.com. Go to our website, grab the news, and yeah, hope to catch up soon.